द हिमाचल प्रदेश हाईकोर्ट हैड ऑर्डर द अटैचमेंट ऑफ हिमाचल भवन इन डेली आफ्टर द स्टेट्स कांग्रेस लेड गवर्नमेंट अंडर सुखविंदर सिंह सुखू फेल टू सेटल एन आउटस्टैंडिंग ड्यू ऑफ अबाउट 150 करोड़ द कोर्ट डायरेक्टेड द स्टेट्स प्रिंसिपल सेक्रेटरी ऑफ द पावर डिपार्टमेंट टू इन्वेस्टिगेट एंड डिटरमिन व्हिच ऑफिशियल्स वर रिस्पांसिबल फॉर दिस ओवरसाइट नाउ दिस डिसीजन फॉलोस द गवर्नमेंट्स फेलियर टू कंप्लाई विद एन अर्लियर कोर्ट डायरेक्टिव टू पे 64 करोड़ अ डेट दैट हैज सिंस एस्केलेटेड टू नियरली 150 करोड़ ड्यू टू अक्रूड इंटरेस्ट हिमाचल चीफ मिनिस्टर रिमेंस डिफाइंड एंड सेड दैट ही विल स्टडी द ऑर्डर फर्स्ट नाउ वी आर जॉइंड बाय द एडवोकेट जनरल ऑफ द हिमाचल गवर्नमेंट जनरल अनूप कुमार रतन Uh, let's go straight across to him to try and understand what has happened uh, namaste thank you for your time uh, this is anand narsimhan here uh, what has happened in court is there an order or is there an option of himachal bhavan to be auctioned let's clear clear that first no there is no option or there is no auction of himachal bhavan it's a com general proceedings of the high court of himachal pradesh in a matter pending wherein state government has already approached the high court filing and later stated appeal that appeal was pending and listed for today for hearing but somehow it could not be uh, heard today so date is being given for uh, somewhere in early december so that is that is all what has happened and we have apprised the appellant court that uh, the executing court is insisting for deposit of the amount hmm. that issue was already before the uh, division bench of the high court and division bench of the high court uh, has said that we will take this matter at, as early as possible subject to the uh, job work is available hmm. so it was listed today it could not be heard today it will be heard in uh, near future some any other day but i assure you that there is no auction is going to be and the himachal one will continue to serve the people of the state or the other guests which are coming to him it so so you are saying there is no auction as of now but do you you do agree that there is a 64 crore premium that is due plus 7% interest and that amount is now burgeoned up to 150 crore and this is with respect to a project that dates back to 2011 and uh, an interim stay that was if my memory serves me right uh, vacated earlier this year by the courts uh, you may give me a one minute time to yes, explain please. you the things actually what had happened that this project proponent came to himachal pradesh for investment in hydroelectric in 2009 hmm. they have to complete this project by may 2021 the project should have been commissioned and they had entered into an agreement saying that we will provide 26% of the free power to the state of himachal pradesh hmm. meaning thereby 200 crore revenue from may 2021 to the state of himachal pradesh hmm. this company backed out ha uh, the reasons From reasons for backing out is that they say now it is not feasible for us to construct this project that was because the concurrence of the ca was not there in the case and the court also it, upheld it was in not their the, favor ji it, it was not the duty of the state if you go through the pre implementation agreement it was every permission is to be sought by them from the central government state government is the Uh, duty of the project proponent it was mm. not for the state of himachal pradesh to go there and obtain the permissions actually what had happened in 2011 the pre implementation agreement was signed there was a pre condition in the pre implementation agreement yes to the extent that in case while preparing the dpr mm. if the project proponent is of the opinion that project is not financially viable hmm. then this processing fee in the shape of upfront premium will be refunded back hmm. but in case they submit the dpr hmm. saying that project is viable hmm. thereafter they are not entitled for upfront premium right now in this case they submitted the dpr saying that project is viable it was financially viable hmm. and they approached the techno economic committee cea in the new delhi hmm. for granting them permission they failed to get the permission in the ca in the year 2015 16 17 correct means 2011 onward 14 15 they failed to do hmm. 